Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of K Factory. In the last episode, we got our hands on some blue ice and I said we're going to set up a blue ice basalt or doodle generator that's going to generate everything from the nether that we can pretty much get. So, I did exactly that in between episodes and it is sitting right beneath my feet in our combat machine. So let's go check it out. Alrighty, so if we head on in here, uh, it has changed a little bit. I have raised this up by one block, even though it's not necessary, just to match this side, because on this side we have, uh, uh, if we turn on our jetpack thing, we have blue ice there, and then underneath the lava uh, is the block that's generating, and then underneath that block is soul soil. So lava flowing over top of... Um, blue ice on the side and soul soil on the bottom does work so we can have the small block breaker in the last episode when I thought of making this I was like the small block breaker can't be placed on the side to break from the top but you can easily generate uh, things from the side as well so it works it does its thing so if we turn it on and turn this on you're gonna see things are gonna start heading into here and everything we do have in the storage system so everything can get voided and will be voided uh, and apparently it's is it not fast enough oh uh, it's, it's all good it still does work okay yeah, yeah yeah it's still fast enough i got enough ancient debris to make eight total netherite ingots so we're gonna make an obsidian to netherite furnace upgrade and i assume it keeps all of the augments and we're gonna grab you Okay, and then we're gonna make the rainbow furnace because the rainbow furnace requires a rainbow core which requires two netherite ingot and all of the stained glasses. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a bunch of dyes, but that's okay. So we can make another one of these furnaces by making a iron furnace with a regular furnace and all of that. And then the components are basically all of the other furnaces that you need to get eight rainbow plating. And then I'm just going to need the glass for the netherite furnaces. Cool. We did Botania. So we basically have all of the dyes in the forms of petals. And if you use a pestle and mortar, you can just make the dye directly. So now we can make a rainbow core. And rainbow plating. And boom. Boom, 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 boom. Rainbow furnace. Um. Okay. So I can put speed and this. How speedy are you? Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Um. Hold on. We need a stack upgrade, right? Wherever we have the importer. Down here on the bottom. Boom. Stack upgrade. I totally dug too much, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. Okay, that's insane. So we need, if we need to, let's say, smelt a bunch of cobblestone, right? Boom. Boom. And if we look at stone. That's ridiculous. We have stone in the drawer, we do. Utterly, completely ridiculous. So, isn't there a requester thing? Yeah, keeps the filtered item fluid in stock with the desired amount. I want to make this. Can I make this? A bunch of clicking later. I have made the requester. I want to see how this works. So if we say... Oh, we need a crafting thing, right? Uh, we need the pattern thing for crafting. Uh, for auto crafting. It, it should be in storage here. Uh, pattern grid. Yeah, and then we need to make a crafter. Okay, so let's do this. I, I kind of want to just test it out. I have made the pattern grid, which reward us with 64 patterns, and I made a crafter, and we get a requester as a reward. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna have possibly multiple requesters, but uh, in the pattern grid, I wanna try something. We're gonna do processing. We're gonna say a stack of cobblestone equals a stack of stone, right? We'll put a crafter down here, and I rotate you with, uh, with the, 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 this guy. Face downwards, there we go. And if we put this in here, right, we can then go into the requester and let's say stone, right? We can say let's stone inventory, let's say 4,000. Uh, input top. 
totally works. And if you put in another thing, let's say andesite. I want 4,000 andesite. We don't have a recipe for it. So if we do stack of andesite cobblestone equals a stack of andesite pattern raptor. Interesting. Why is it so slow though? Jab andesite. Is the crafter slow? I don't know, but I think it does work. Yeah, it is doing andesite every so often. It did stone quite quickly to 4,000. Um, I don't know. As soon as I stopped recording, it clicked in and it did a bunch. It's weird. It's kind of like it has a bit of lag on it or something, and it does an operation, and now it's, it did a bunch of andesite. Okay, interesting. But it is going to stock andesite, which is really good. I want to play around with a few of these things from Bountiful Baubles, and for that we're going to need a disintegration tablet, which can be used to disintegrate other things that we don't need into... Um, into Spectral Silt, which is a crafting component to make resplendent tokens, which can be used then to craft different things from Bountiful Baubles. And apparently, my voice is going, so let me have a drink of water. My voice has now returned, so what I want to do is see what we can craft from here. Firstly, I know that we can take this Cobalt Shield that we got and the Obsidian Skull and combine it into an Obsidian Shield, which basically combines the two effects, so we can do that. And then the the thing that we want to get, eventually, it's the Ink Charm, which grants immunity to most negative status effects. And for that, we're going to need vitamins, mixed color dragon scale, forbidden fruit, sunglasses, and ring of free action. Like, this is not going to be doable because we need to kill strays to get this at a 3% chance uh, when killed by a player. To get strays, we need powdered snow, which I don't know if we can get. A powdered snow is 1.18 thing. We need strays, so we need somehow to... I don't know if we can even get strays. I don't know. So that might not happen. But uh, what we can do, for example, is craft a lucky horseshoe if we grab four spectral silt. So from the things that in my, are in my inventory, I want to keep the obsidian shield, the shulker heart, and this lethal damage destroys empty heart containers instead, and we can sleep to regenerate heart containers. So I think I'll keep this heart container, and the rest we can disintegrate. Oh. It's on the left slot. Is it only on the top left slot of the crap? Is it only in my inventory? Is it not? Can I do this and this? I can use dragon scale. Oh, apparently I can't break down. I can do dragon scales. I cannot do obsidian skulls or shulker hearts. Okay, cool. So we'll do a few of these dragon scales. Uh, let's do four. Because we can easily go fight more dragons. And we're going to also do... Let's say we do a stack of emerald blocks. Because we are pretty much good on that. We have plenty of emeralds. So we can toss all of that in here. And that should be enough for us to craft some things. So for example, we can do one token. And we can do a horseshoe. Which negates fall damage. And I, can we combine this with anything? We can combine it with a balloon. Which we can craft from four wool. There is a balloon which says increases jump height and decreases fall damage slightly. And if we combine it, we get increases jump height and negates fall damage. So if we put this on, we have slightly, ooh, quite a bit of jump. Okay, that's neat. Uh, I might have to get used to that. But can we combine this with anything? We cannot. Okay, so uh, to get this thing going, we need a forbidden fruit, which is from husks. Which, again, I don't know if we can get. Vitamins is from Elder Guardians, which again we don't. I don't know if we can get. Uh, sunglasses grant immunity to blindness. We can craft those just because we can. So let's get a prism. Where are you, sunglasses? Here you are hiding. Oh, we need black stained glass. That is doable. Are we out of glass? Can we? Do we have the thing where we can read eye different? We cannot. Okay. I'm almost out of sand, but at least this furnace is insane. So we get glass super quickly. So black stained glass, boom, 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 boom. Sunglasses. Okay, can we craft anything else? 
A few more things that I want to try it out. I made some diamond clawed gauntlets and we're going to check those out in a moment. I also want to make a cracked black dragon scale and turn that into a black dragon scale with a wither skeleton, uh, with a nether star, not a wither skeleton. And it grants immunity to withering, which is going to be great for uh, while we're doing things in the, um, in the nether if we get into some wither skeleton killing again. Uh, anyway, the blindness thing is not really useful, I th don't think. We are going to also grab a sin pendant, and we're going to say to turn it into a wrath pendant. Uh, can I use any skull? Um, I have a blaze head. Can I use blaze head? I can use a blaze head. Cool. Uh, so this gives plus two damage, and it grants the sinful buff after you deal a critical hit. So it does plus damage plus armor when we do a critical hit. We could do the necklace that gives... Step assist and it grants plus damage plus armor while at full health. Or we could do the one to eat faster and also we get the buff when we eat. Um, I think I'll take the pride pendant actually. I want step assist. I don't really need the plus two damage. So we're take, gonna take that. This can go into our necklace slot wherever we have. Uh, let's just remove all of these. Necklace slot. This can go into charm ring necklace body. Uh, this goes into our hands. This goes on our back. And then the rest can just go into different slots. Back body, charm. Hold on. Let's put this on our back. And if we go down lower, I think we have, we can fit everything. Yeah, we can fit everything. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Uh, this goes into our hand slot, which isn't free. But... Which one? Oh, this is the crafting grid slot. So if we do this, I think, yeah, we can mine anything with our hands. Kind of like a pickaxe. I don't know if it works for, it says pickaxe okay. But that's cool. It is a little bit slower. Does it take durability? It does take durability. Can be repaired in an anvil with diamonds. Okay, so that is, it's an interesting concept, but um, I don't think it's really useful, to be honest. Uh, I'd rather have my own pickaxe and just repair that. <laughs> but uh, it is cool because it's basically an all-in-one tool. So to be honest, if we add... Hold on. Can I do... Uh, what is it? It's called a claw. Can I enchant this? I can enchant this. If we get into an enchanting table and we enchant this, we might not need tools. We just have a sword and then everything, and then we can just hold, let's say, this in our hand and just mine with this. Like, look how fast it is. Oh, maybe we have to hold this. Yeah, if we hold this in our, if we have this in here, like this as a tool, and it's super fast, we add silk touch. Might not be bad. Um, but I need to get into some enchanting, which we possibly can do. So my last clip just had my microphone muted. So uh, I made a charm of flight, which the recipe is potions of flight, and the potions of flight are shulker hearts with some awkward potions and super simple brewing. So this can, if I shift right click it, give me a uh, flight for the amount of durability that it has, which is 192 total, and we already wasted a little bit. So uh, this is gonna go in here, and if I ever need it for something, uh, it's gonna be there. But the only way we can get flight is with these potions of flight. And then we also have uh, the flight module from RF Tools Utility, which you can put in the environmental controller and that gives you flight. But to get the environmental controller, we need to go through the Twilight Forest because we need the machine frame thing. So uh, we could potentially just go smack out the Twilight Forest. I think I might, I mean, I don't have good enough armor. I don't think for the Twilight Forest just yet. But if we get a good range tool or range uh, weapon something, we can possibly take care of uh, all of that. Uh, that could be a thing. Um, I don't know. I also made a better magnet in the clip that was muted, which is just an upgrade. It picks up items from five blocks away, 11 blocks away. And you can filter which items it picks up. Ooh. That's neat. I can filter charcoal blocks so we don't pick them up when we go to our botania area, for example. Okay, that's neat. Cool.
I had a free afternoon of pretty much just playing Minecraft. So I decided to do a little bit of building and starting to design the base a little bit. And I kind of dislike having storage down here and I'll explain this in a moment. But having everything here in a little compressed space is not really my style, I don't think. So we'll move everything up here. And since we have everything on a wireless storage, we don't really need to put the crafting grid somewhere where we'll really use it a lot. So what you can prob probably do is just have drawers in all of the four sides here, I think. Maybe not even all four, maybe just two, two opposites. And we can put some sort of machines for something in the other two corners, for example. But um, I decided to use some blaze lanterns, some polished basalt. I wanted to use at least blocks that were farming. And then I looked at crimson wood that I have... Um, I have a little bit of a texture pack from Vanilla Tweaks where it makes this a little bit redder rather than purple. Uh, I think if we took... Uh, I don't have any more crimson. Yeah, but you can see crimson chest from Quirk. That's what crimson normally looks like. And I really like the red color because it matches with netherwork blocks and all of that good stuff really well. So what we can do is we can have something like this in the corners here where we can put machines possibly in the back because we should have enough space. Yeah, we can possibly put some sort of something in here like a rainbow furnace for example and we can hide everything behind it possibly so um, I also did make some travel anchors which is just a specific travel anchors mod uh, they only have a travel anchor and the travel staff and then also there's a uh, there's an enchant if we do add travel there's a teleportation and also a range that goes all the way up to range 7 is that? yeah uh, so the teleportation allows you to add the enchantment to the to the destruction pickaxe and we only can get this through just the enchanting table so we might have to do some sort of disenchanting something something if we can uh, possibly in the future but I also made a destruction pickaxe and a healing axe with from mini utilities which is a port of sorts of extra utilities too uh, from before so the destruction pickaxe if we look at uh, if we just look at mini utilities uh, here's all the things you can get. We can also make a sword. We can make a shovel, uh, some shears, destruction pickaxe, reversing hoe, healing axe, and they have specific abilities. This mines stone things really quickly. It doesn't really insta mine stone. We might be able to insta mine once we added some uh, some efficiency or something. That might be really cool. But it's a tool with infinite durability, and I only need sub touch on it, and then it's pretty much going to be the same as this. So we will retire these. And I still am going to keep my sword for the moment. We could potentially make this sword, which does 1.6. This uh, doesn't say. It's stronger, I think. Plus it has looting. So we're going to keep that for the moment. We can also make unstable armor. And we can also make infused armor, which I believe is twice as strong as netherite. And that only requires experience opinium cores, which requires chorus opinium cores, emerald, netherite, diamond, gold, iron... And that's pretty much it. So to craft that, I think we have everything but the chorus flowers. I think I did some chorus things. And if we do, if we do chorus, caps lock on, is there a way I can turn popped chorus fruit into chorus flowers with the mana infusion with the alchemy catalyst? Okay, so what we can do is we can toss the chorus fruit, chorus, in here because I believe I can grow this in the garden cloche with endstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll toss this uh, Let's say here where we have the berries uh, and we're gonna go toss one of these chorus flowers in the uh, In here, I've been just switching around things in here and growing them. So we need a bit of endstone Which we do have Press the wrong button boom Boom, chorus flower. So that'll do its thing, and it's going to grow it, and it's going to be cool, and eventually we'll have a bunch of chorus fruit. But for the moment, for example, I can take the chorus that we have. This is just the 17. And I could just go to the end and manually harvest a little bit. Uh, we can toss this in here, and it's going to turn into popped chorus very quickly. And we can then go back to base, to Batania area. I think I don't have the... Do I have the alchemy catalyst on? I do. Toss this on. Boom. 17 chorus flowers. I don't know if that's going to be enough for what we need, but eventually we're going to get more chorus fruit, as you can see. As far as enchanted bottles are concerned, they are a crafting recipe in the Opinium cores. We just have a cleric villager here. He just uh, 
looked at this brewing stand. We also need to give him a bed, uh, which I removed previously, but here you have a bed so you can sleep and reset your things. But we can just trade him emeralds for uh, bottles and we have pretty much an infinite amount of emeralds over time. So we can just do this, boom, 12 enchanted bottles. And we can just buy them as we go. And we can also buy glowstone, for example, which is really nice. So I'm gonna grab a bit more emeralds and we can just drain them out for glowstone as well. Ooh. Did I d not already have a Magneto Trinket? Select items and XP orbs in range of 10 by 10 when activated. Activated by right clicking the air with an empty hand or bind a key. Um, okay. I also, <laughs> one thing that I noticed, if I put sticky mind on, I can't teleport. <laughs> it prevents it. It prevents Enderman teleportation. And this uses an Enderman teleportation, which is kind of a neat thing, but um, that is that is what it is. Um. Also, I don't know if I showed it, I got a chance of getting a small buff of saturation potion when eating, which is kind of nice when you eat, you're just, uh, your saturation bar fills up all the way, which makes food last longer, which is really cool. So, let me just also make, when you see all these magma blocks, I'm gonna toss them on the floor, and I'm gonna actually turn off a magnet, uh, and we can turn all of these into obsidian. I went into the nether for like five minutes. So that is going to be cool because I want to add void upgrades to all of the drawers up top once we move. So that is going to be obsidian for that. And now I'm just going to go craft the super duper armor. So if we look at mini utilities to craft these semi stable ingots, if you put it into your inventory, it starts, uh, it has like a timer of 10 seconds and then it explodes. But I can just do this one, two, three, four, five, six. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Do we need, now we need two, three, four. So first I should look in here. I have 24 semi-stable ingots. So that should be probably enough or even more to craft all of this. And now I just need these opinion cores, which uh, we're gonna go and craft. And possibly I could make a auto crafting system. I can just make another crafter, right? And toss all of the patterns in, that will be easier. I made enough netherite and we can easily make more because we have 400 debris and we're gonna get more eventually so we can craft the netherite crafter which is gonna be a super quest completion. And here we get basic processors, improved processors, diamond processors and we get explosive powder and a primitive resonator. Okay, that I think is for blood magic, right? Increases crafting speed by, okay, interesting. Uh, we'll use that at Blood Magic, but that was the only Netherite crafter that I could have uh, possibly crafted. So we're gonna toss you just somewhere that it's connected. I think we can go like this. Boom. It's so much space. For <laughs> Okay, you just need a couple of these and then you have enough patterns for life. So now, let me craft the Opinium cores. Um, I may have taken on <laughs> too big of a task to do this. I think we'll just craft the unstable armor, which is gonna be great for what we need for the moment. And we need uh, not too many more diamonds, but that would be all of our diamond gone. We need 80,000 more iron, 72,000 more coal. So we need uh, we need proper ore processing is what we need. But everything else we have good. Uh, we have enough emeralds, enough bottles of enchanting, a little bit more chorus flowers, which is not a problem, but um, that's not gonna happen. So I'll just craft these. Like an unstable helmet, we'll make unstable leggings, and we'll also make unstable boots. And I don't think I can combine anything with um, with the the jetpack, uh, which is kind of sad. So we're just gonna get rid of this and get rid of. I don't know what a cold version is, but um, you know they're gonna go into storage. And the engineer's goggles, I need to have in my backpack. Cool. <laughs> so we have a little bit better armor now. Uh, and it's sad that I can't combine this with uh, with anything. Also, one thing that I figured out, you know how this is super quick and you zerp around and you can't really build? You can decrease the throttle uh, if I press the right button. Like we can go to 20%, which is this feet, this this fast. I think I like 40 uh, for what, what you need to do. So it is really nice. You go down slower and up uh, slower, but at least it's nice and controllable when you fly around so you can build, which is really cool. I just remembered one thing from the comments. You said I can right click these. Capacity of chest increased to 27. Awesome. 
Uh, cool. <laughs> so we have a bigger chest now. It's no longer just nine slots, which uh, can take much more items in when we're transferring them through, which is really cool. Okay, neat. That's really nice. If I'm gonna be building out of crimson, I want to see if I can harvest it with the broad axe. So I just made a very basic stone one just to test. So if we land... Cool, that does work. It doesn't work on the, the things, though, because they don't decay. So for that, I would need possibly a faster mattock or something. But at least I can... Yeah, I can harvest all the wood. Okay, cool. So I can just go here for a little bit. Hello, foxhound. Bye, foxhound. I can go even with just this stone one and just harvest a bunch of crimson logs. Okay, or crimson stems. I think that should be good. I'm, don't have, I'm not wearing gold, though, so these guys are going to be mad at me, which is fine. Okay, cool, that works. Now that we have a semi-decent way of getting crimson wood, I have built everything out of crimson planks, and I variated it with vertical crimson planks from Quark, and I also put everything in drawers that we have currently in storage. There's lots of empty spaces for new things in the future, but for example, here we have most of the vanilla things, and then all of the vanilla blocks that I think we're gonna get. And then here we have the random cobblestones that you get and some other things. And in here we have the ores temporarily because I want to process the ores directly and not store them in the system as an ore form because I don't think we really need them as an ore form. So we're just going to go and process them directly and we're going to remove them once we get the processing going. This is just so I can turn back on this guy in here if I want to. Uh, I currently have it off, but for example, down here, uh, we don't we no longer have the storage thing with the travel anchors We only have wires and down here we have if we close this off We have our bed. We have a dread lamp. We have our mega torch and we have this monstrosity uh, So the left side here is our drawer controller and how is it connected to all the drawers you ask? Well, if you go here, it doesn't look like anything is uh, is different But we have a frame trim here. The drawer controller is right beneath it then we have trim, trim, goes to the right, trim, 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 trim. And then the drawer trim is right below here. Uh, we have oak trim, there you go, which goes underneath kind of like this and then connects to the bottom of this drawer and the bottom of this drawer. And then here in the corner, we have some trim here and in the back and then there, which connects these two drawers. And then all of the others are just the same. There's drawer trim going down here in the corner, down there, in the corner, down there, in the corner, you get the idea. Anyway, the drawer controller down here has the item pipe with uh, the ultimate pipe upgrade, which required four netherite ingots, but we can get that plentifully now. And uh, we have the chest that is super bigger now that we made it uh, in this episode, I believe. So that just inputs everything into the drawer controller that we can. Here we have the external storage on priority 10. We're going to set it to... And that just basically means that the creative controller can see everything in the system and we can see everything in here. And since we have the wireless crafting grid, we really don't need to, um, can I not? I can, Zerp, okay. Uh, I can just craft everything that I need in here and access it. The only time I would need the, um, the things here is for the pattern grid. And I think I'm still gonna put it somewhere here, possibly somewhere in the, in the walls. I would love to keep it in the floor, but sadly, these don't turn upside. So if I take this, for example, when I want to place it, I can't rotate it so that the face is going to face me or face the floor, which is kind of sad. It can only be rotated uh, four directions, which is just on the pla on the on this plane. So it can go here, here or the other way, which is kind of sad because, for example, the crafter uh, can be rotated in all six directions. You can see it goes everywhere. And this only this way, which is super weird. Uh, but I would love that to happen. I don't know if there's a mod that does that or if the mod author should just add it. I think it should just add it. I don't know. You can do this with uh, applied energy sticks and I really like it because I would love to have things in the floor and that would be pretty much it. And we can just put like crafters in the, fl in the walls here or something. But it is what it is. Eventually we could just move the travel anchor here and set up a little like station in the middle for refined storage. That could be a thing, but I kind of did that in pretty much every mod pack I played, almost, is to have it in the middle, but that that's just me with inside builds. I just build things in the walls and then 
put a station in the middle so you can access it from everywhere. But enough rambling. Uh, I think I might just end the episode off here because we did quite a bit. Um, and we are going to come back next time and automate things. For example, ore processing or mob farm or blood magic or something. I'll decide next time. Any hoozle, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm really hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. You can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live. And if you hit the bell as well, that would be really nice. Also, uh, you can support me on Patreon. I will start looking into creating a Patreon server for all the peoples to play on. Uh, and we can decide on what pack uh, is going to be in. Maybe we do this one, but like, you know, the the packs where you spawn inside of a thing. I don't know if just everybody will spawn in this base and not have their own island because I don't know if Tismas added that in the pack, but I don't know how it works on a server. We'll have to figure it out later. Any whoozle, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.